Okay, the question given to me can be represented in the form of this diagram. From the point P on the ground, the angle of elevation of the top of a uh, 10 meter tall building is 30 degrees. That is, this uh, building is 10 meters tall. That is, AB is equal to 10 meters. Okay, and this angle is 30 degrees as it has been mentioned here. A flag is hoisted at the top of the building and the angle of elevation of the top of the flag staff from P is 45 degrees. That is the angle of elevation of this point. Angle of elevation means angle made by the, the line joining these two points with a horizontal. So that is equal to 45 degrees as shown in the diagram. Okay. Find the length of the flag staff and the distance of the building from the point P. So I have to find AP and I have to find the value of BD. Okay. So now, uh, the first thing I am going to tell you is, uh, this angle is 30 degrees and this angle is 45 degrees. Does not mean that AB and uh, AD will be in the same proportion. It is not, not necessary. It is never like that. Uh, a, B and A, D will be in the ratio of this, uh, some trigonometric function of these angles. Okay. What will, what is that? We'll see. So, if I consider triangle A, B, P, what do I have here? P, B, A. This is the triangle I'm considering. The wall is always vertical and the ground is horizontal. So, this angle is always 90 degrees. I am given that this angle is 30 degrees and this length is 10 meters. Okay, so I need to find this length. Correct. What is the value of AP? So, I know that the trigonometric function which relates uh, the adjacent angle, adjacent side to the opposite side is either uh, tan of the angle or cot of the angle. So, if I use say cot of the angle P, cot of angle P is equal to uh, AP divided by BA. Correct? So, uh, what is angle P? 30 degrees. So, cot 30 degrees is equal to AP divided by 10 meters. Uh, 30 degrees is a standard trigonometric angle. So, the value of cot 30 is a standard value which comes out as root 3. Correct? So, this is equal to root 3. So, if AP by 10 root 10 meters is equal to root 3. Then what will be AP? AP will be 10 root 3 meters. Correct? Uh, I am given in the question that root 3 is equal to 1.732. So if I put the value here, then what will I get? 10 into 1.732, which is equal to 17.32 meters. Therefore, the point P is 17.32 meters away from the building. Okay? Uh, so I got AP. Now I have to find BD. So uh, BD it is difficult to find, but I can find AD, right? Because uh, triangle ADP is a right angle triangle, correct? Uh, ADP. This is a right angle triangle, right? And this angle is given as 45 degrees. And I just now calculated the length of AP as uh, 17.32 meters. Correct? So, I need to find AD. That is unknown. So, again, I need to have some formula which relates the opposite side to the adjacent side of the known angle. So, I can again use the cot. So, cot angle P is equal to uh, AP by AD. Correct? AP by AD. Uh, what is angle P? 45 degrees. So, this is equal to cot of 45 degrees. 45 degrees is also a standard angle. And what is the value of cot 45? It is equal to 1. This means that AP by AD is equal to 1. Or AP is equal to AD. So, I get AD is equal to uh, AP which is 17.32 meters. Okay. So, now I got the length of AD and I also know the length of AB. 
so i can calculate bd uh, bd will be simply ad minus ab correct this is equal to 17.32 minus 10 which is 7.32 meters therefore the flag pole is 7.32 meters long one thing i want to tell is here also i am using cot p and here also i am using cot p but the value of p is different in these two uh, cot because the triangles that i am dealing with they are different in the two cases so please be careful which triangle you are using before putting the angle.